you know, President Bola Tinubu has now emphasized the importance of good governance in Nigeria's government to force the development and reduce conflict. He highlighted uh, the negative consequences of uh, corruption, political instability, economic disparities and uh, social unrest. As he also criticized the deteriorating local government system for failing to effectively address national security threats. Local governments are the frontline defenders against insecurity as they are closest to the people and possess intimate knowledge of their community's need and challenges. This is why some have advocated for community policing as a finesse to our internal security challenges. This began the House of Representatives and Representatives and Abbas's old governors of 36 states to support President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's proposal for full financial autonomy for local government areas. The issues of national security and good governance at this level, therefore, deserve very serious attention. We cannot be talking about national security and development if our local governments remain insecure, mismanaged, and underdeveloped. This national dialogue today, coming at the heels of the recently held retreat on national security and state police, gives us the unique opportunity to focus attention on the local government. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Latif Agbemi, says one of the persistent challenges of Nigeria uh, federalism is a persistent failure to grant autonomy to local government as it called for the scrapping of state independent electoral commissions. Good governance is critical to the success of any security initiative. Therefore, this forum represents, presents a golden opportunity for participants to share insights, strategies, and experiences that will help the government formulate actionable plans. Cases of states hijacking of uh, local government revenues are banned from 1999 till date. In consequence of these weak constitutional provisions, the lifespan of the local government councils is at the mercy of the state governments. There is no constituent pattern, consistent pattern of local government elections. Some state governors dissolve their local governments and appoint caretaker committees at will. If the federal government is paying state governments these funds, what anti-corruption or anti-graft agency will be in charge of ensuring that you know, they are properly investigated? Is it the AFCC? If it's the AFCC, could the AFCC, would they be able to investigate 774 local governments as well as the states, as well as the ministries, as well as the agencies? In already cumbersome, um, it's already, I believe that the EFCC already has so much in that. So will it also not be the state anti-graft agency that will do the work? So that is also for us to now deliberate on also. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Retention Abbas, and the Minister of Blue Economy, Boye Gawitola, have all suggested the creation of a shipping regulatory agency in Nigeria, the praise regulatory agency for its potential to protect rights and competitiveness and also improve business ease at the nation's ports. However, this suggestion was rebuffed by during a public uh, airing on the uh, repeal of the Shipping Council Act and the enactment of the Shippers Council and Economic Regulatory Bill. This reenactment bill not only seeks to ensure that the proposed agency establishes an economic regulatory framework for effective and efficient regulation of commercial and related activities in the shipping and port sector, but also aims to create an enabling environment for private sector participation in the provision and operation of regulated services in Nigeria, amongst others. In the power sector, regulator is there. In the upstream sector, regulator is there. In the downstream sector, you have regulator. I mean, all, um, all the economic sectors have regulators with the exception of the shipping services. So I think this is one more reason why we even have to double our efforts uh, to make sure that this bill sees the light of the day. The ministry is in the process of collating its position on this act and will submit in due course accordingly. We encourage every member here present and stakeholders to present genuinely their interests with a view to helping the House. If we think about the current situation, 
Look at the ports in Cotonou. How many people are there? Clearly, they're building infrastructure to service our country. So we've got to make sure that we are more efficient. And to that extent, we welcome this uh, regulatory uh, agency that will be created to make things more efficient. He, Mr. Speaker, essentially embellishes the fundamentals of economic regulation. That is, making all actors play by the rules. Service providers must operate competitively to avoid monopoly, excessive pricing, and arbitrariness. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.